Hey guys, the Fiamma Bridge Beta Testnet launched May 19 and in this video I'll be showing you how to join the testnet and earn as much fluff energy as possible. So the first thing to do is to log in to the Fiamma Bridge using the link in the description. Once you get to the bridge, you connect your EVM and Bitcoin wallet. So to connect your wallet, click connect EVM or you click connect wallet. Click connect EVM select your EVM wallet and accept the request in your wallet. The next thing to do is to connect your Bitcoin wallet. So to do that, click the Ethereum icon and you'll see the option to connect your BTC wallet. Click connect BTC, select your preferred Bitcoin wallet. I recommend using Unisat wallet. Accept the request to switch to Bitcoin Signet and now your EVM and Bitcoin wallet are connected. Make sure your Bitcoin wallet address format is set to taproot. To do that, launch your Unisat wallet, click settings icon, click address type and make sure taproot is selected. For this testnet, you'll be interacting on Bitcoin Signet, Mona testnet and Uleski. So you will need test tokens on this testnet to pay for your gas. If you don't have enough test tokens on this testnet, check out the faucet link in the description to claim your Signet BTC, Mon, and Huleski A. Once you've gotten enough test tokens on this testnet, you can start interacting on the Fiamma Bridge. The quest involves depositing SBTC on Bitcoin Signet to get Fiat BTC and withdrawing the Fiat BTC to receive your SBTC on Bitcoin Signet. So to complete the deposit quest, click Go Deposit. Click the drop down menu to select your preferred chain. So you can select Huleski, Mona Testnet or Plume Testnet as your destination chain. Click the recipient address text box and click your connected wallet and it will auto populate your EVM address. Enter the amount of SBTC you want to deposit. Right now, the range is from 0.001 to 3 SBTC. Click Deposit. Select your gas fee rate. I usually select Fast. Click Deposit and accept the request in your Bitcoin wallet. Now the transaction is processing. To return to the Fiamma Bridge dashboard, click your profile icon at the top right. On the Fiamma Bridge dashboard, you can see your bridge history by clicking Bridge. On the Deposit tab, you can see your deposit history and the status of the transactions. On the Withdraw tab, you can see your withdrawal history and the status of the transactions. To return to the dashboard, switch to the Account tab. To complete the withdrawal task, click Go Withdraw. Select the chain you want to withdraw your Fiat BTC from by clicking the drop down menu. So, in this case, I want to select Mona Testnet. Click the recipient address text box and click your address. So, here it will auto populate your Bitcoin Signet address. Enter the amount of Fiat BTC you want to withdraw. The allowed range is from 0.001 to 3 Fiat BTC. Click withdraw, select your gas fee rates, click withdraw and accept the request in your wallet. So now your withdrawal will be processing and in a few minutes or a few hours it will be complete. Once you've gotten your fear BTC after depositing SBTC, you can use them to interact with the dApps listed here. To interact with each of the dApps, click the go to app button on the dApp card. So to interact with Summer, click go to app click app. Once you land on Summer, select the testnet you want to interact with by clicking the network drop down menu at the top right and scroll to the testnet section. Since the only testnet we can deposit SBTC to from the Fiamma bridge to get Fiat BTC is Mona testnet. That means we'll be interacting on Summer using the Mona testnet. So select Mona testnet and click connect wallet. Select your preferred wallet and accept the connection request. To claim test tokens from this DAP, click faucets and you need to connect your Twitter account and follow Summer Money to use the faucet. 
once you connected to Mona Testnet, you can see your Fia BTC balance here. If you scroll down to the lending market, you can see your Fia BTC. So you can deposit Fia BTC as collateral to borrow other tokens here. So to deposit Fia BTC, click deposit. Enter the amount of Fia BTC you want to deposit. Click deposit Fia BTC. Accept the approval request. Right now, there is an error and this will be fixed soon, but at least you understand the whole idea. If you can't deposit your FIA BTC, you can deposit other tokens here on Mona Testnet and borrow FIA BTC. In this case, I'll be depositing some MON. I click deposit. I enter the amount of MON I want to deposit. I click deposit MON. I accept the request in my wallet and now I've deposited some MON. Since I've deposited some collateral, I can borrow FIA BTC. I click borrow. So here you can see the borrow capacity, which is the maximum amount of FIA BTC I can borrow based on my available collateral. So I'll just click on the 80% limits. I click borrow FIA BTC. I accept the request in my wallet. So for now, Mona Testnet is the only testnet we can use to interact with FIA BTC based on the available destination chains on the Fiamma bridge. So on your dashboard, you can supply and borrow tokens on Mona Testnet. You can borrow Fiat BTC after supplying other Mona Testnet tokens. You can supply Fiat BTC and use that as a collateral to borrow other tokens on the Mona Testnet. To interact with Kuru on the Kuru card, click go to app. Once you land on Kuru, click connect wallet. Select your preferred EVM wallet and accept the signature request in your wallet. Now you're connected. If this is your first time interacting with Kuru, you will see the prompt to mint your onboarding NFT. So mint the NFT. You will need to top up your Kuru wallet with Mon. So click the wallet icon at the top. Click deposit. Enter the amount of Mon you want to deposit to your Kuru wallet. Click deposit and accept the request in your wallet so now you've deposited some money to your cool wallet which you can use for trading so remember our goal of visiting Kuru is to interact on Kuru using fiat btc as our asset on the market tab you can trade fiat btc for other tokens and vice versa so click market and click the search bar so as you can see here, we have Fiat BTC USDC and Fiat BTC Mon. So select your preferred market. On the Fiat BTC USDC market, you can trade Fiat BTC for USDC and vice versa. To buy Fiat BTC with USDC, click the buy tab. You can select a market order or a limit order. I recommend using market orders so your transaction will be completed instantly. Enter the amount of USDC you want to spend. Click buy and once the transaction is successful, you will get the equivalent amount of Fiat BTC in your wallet. To sell your Fiat BTC for USDC, click sell, click markets for quick transaction, enter the amount of Fiat BTC you want to sell, click sell. Now your order will be placed. So that's how to trade Fiat BTC on the market section. You can also use the quick swap. For quick swap, switch to the cool light version. So click light. Click the drop down menu to select the token. Here we want to be searching for FIA. So select FIA BTC and select the token you want to exchange it for. On the drop down menu here. So I want to exchange it for MON. So now I want to swap some FIA BTC for MON. I enter the amount of FIA BTC I want to swap. Click swap and I accept the request in my wallet. Now that the token is approved, accept the signature request to confirm the swap. And now I've swapped some Fiat BTC for MON. You can reverse the process by swapping some tokens for Fiat BTC. So you can click the switch icon. And now I'm swapping some MON for Fiat BTC. You can also select any other token you want to use from the drop down menu. To interact with Kinza, use the link in the description. The link from the dashboard takes you to the Kinza DAP on Minnet instead of Testnet. So once you visit the Kinza Testnet app, click Connect Wallet, select your preferred wallet, 
and accept the connection requests. So on Kinza DAP, you can supply, borrow, withdraw, and repay tokens. So our major focus here is to interact with Fiat BTC. So click Fiat BTC. To supply Fiat BTC, click Supply. Enter the amount of Fiat BTC you want to supply. Click Approve. Accept the approval request. Click Supply and accept the signature request. Now it's done, you can close this. To remove your supply, click Withdraw. Enter the amount of Fiat BTC you want to remove. Click Withdraw Fiat BTC and accept the request in your wallet. So we can return to the market by clicking Markets. So as you supply some Fiat BTC, you can use that as collateral to borrow other tokens. So you can also supply other tokens on Mona Testnet. So if I want to supply my Mon, I can choose Mon here by clicking Mon. And I supply some Mon. Enter the amount of Mon I want to supply. Click Supply Mon. And I accept the request in my wallet. And close this. So I go back to Markets. I can decide to borrow Fiat BTC using the amount of supply. So I click Fiat BTC. And here you can see I have the option to borrow. So I click borrow. If I click max, I can see the maximum amount of Fiat BTC I can borrow. So I want to borrow something lesser than that. I reduce the amount. I click borrow Fiat BTC. And I accept the request in my wallet. So now I've borrowed some Fiat BTC. To repay my Fiat BTC debts, I click repay. I click the max to see the maximum amount I can repay. Enter the amount of Fiat BTC I want to repay. I click repay Fiat BTC and I accept the request in my wallet. So I can close this. So that's how to interact with Fiat BTC on Kinza. So that's it about the Fiamma Bridge Beta Testnet for now. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issue, ask for help in the comments or in my Telegram group. You'll find the link to the group in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more Fiamma testnet updates, crypto airdrops, tips, and tutorials. Check out the bonus section of this video description to find some of the hottest testnets you can join and sign up on as many of them as possible. So keep completing your daily quest on the Fiamma Bridge. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.